Hey friends, um, let's see, round two, P2, day seven. I think yesterday I said it was day six or five, I can't remember. I messed it up because I always forget to include that first day because to me it doesn't really count. You're loading and, and then you get up and weigh yourself and you have this god awful weight. So, um, Today's day seven, and I am 137.6, so I'm down a pound from yesterday, which is great. Um, I'm in my daughter's room right now, because it's the only quiet place in the house I can find. And uh, we just got back from dinner. Our guests are in town. Um, I ended up ordering a house salad and brought my own dressing and my, my protein portion and just put that on the dry house salad and that was my dinner and no one gave me a hard time. Everyone else was ordering pastas and pizzas and all sorts of goodies and uh, there were wine drinkers and they also had dessert after mud pie and it, you know, it was fine. I, I was okay with the whole thing and I think it's inspiring to wake up this morning and, and see an all-time low for me following this HCG protocol. This is my lowest weight um, in both rounds and I'm, I'm happy to see that number after being up a little bit uh, two days ago. I think that was due to ovulation. I ovulated yesterday and typically I stall during ovulation. I don't usually gain, but I do stall. And I uh, don't have as many problems during my period. I, when Tom comes into town, I, I still continue with my normal slow but steady weight loss. So I think I'm down 5.4 for a total weight loss, including loading weight uh, in the second round. And again, I'm on day seven. So uh, slow but steady, that's due to me following my own protocol and not being super pop. Uh, that's just the way I roll and I'm okay with it. My mom is on day five and I think she's down nine pounds. Um, she has quite a bit more weight to lose than I do, but it's, that's still pretty good for day five. And she's very pop. She's being very strict. She's not trying... Uh, any of those extra crazy things that, that I add in. Um, so happy to, to have her along with me on this journey. She's following her own journey. She has a bit of stress in her life right now. We found out uh, a close family friend is, is very ill, and so she's going to have a, a bumpy road in the next two weeks. So try to be here to support her through that. Um, tomorrow guests are coming here. I am doing the cooking. We're having fish for lunch and steak and chicken for dinner. It's my husband's birthday. Um, I just made a mud pie for him for tomorrow. That's his favorite thing and they all said the mud pie tonight wasn't as good as mine so that's what we're making for his birthday dessert tomorrow and uh, everyone will be here for the entire day but they all know that I am um, on this journey and so they're all supportive and so it's a great thing. So I will check in and update you tomorrow hopefully and let you know uh, if I had a loss today from hanging in there and doing what I was supposed to do and uh, hopefully let you know how I'm feeling about having all that food in my house and preparing all that food and you know, 40 days isn't that long, and you see great results in those 40 days, and uh, I'm, I'm, I've got my head in the game, and so I'm, I'm happy to have these people here and see them, and I'm happy that they know what I'm doing so they can support me, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to add in a few, I think I'm going to make a strawberry orange sorbet for myself tomorrow. Haven't had any chocolate delight yet this week. I need to make a batch. Um, I typically keep a, a full batch of that in the freezer and hidden in my bedroom, but it's been warm, so my last batch melted, and the batch in the freezer my daughter ate. Um, so she 
you know, she was following this protocol for a while and uh, it didn't work out for her. She's just not ready yet to to adhere to something so strict, but she certainly can adhere to eating all of my chocolate delights. So I'm going to make some more of that tomorrow. I may dip some strawberries or something in that for my mom because she hasn't had that yet. Um, and then put the sorbet in little orange cups and uh, try and make that special. And other than that, things are going well. I, you know, I'm not sleeping that great, but that's typical for me right now. I'm hoping in the next week that changes. One thing I do want to mention, um, I was cold last night and that, that happened in the last round and other people have talked about that. It's almost like, you know, the HCG is working when you kind of have that chill and you can't quite get warm enough. So I ended up dragging a heating pad into bed with me. I want to say it was 82 for the high yesterday. It hasn't been very warm this summer. Um, and I didn't, I haven't been taking my hot baths in the evening. And so when I got into bed, I was chilled and, and drug that heating pad in to kick up the heat until I could get warm again. So I, I'm also happy to mention that because to me that means the HCG is working and I don't know what that means. I don't know why it happens, but for you newbies out there, don't be alarmed if you feel like you're cold um, and it's the middle of summer. That's okay. That's a part of it. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.